everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem solve sin y into dy by dx equals to cos y into 1 minus x cos y. Solution. So, here by looking at the equation, we can say that it is not in any of the direct forms which we have discussed earlier, right? So, we'll solve this by reducing it to linear form and using some substitution right so here we are going to use reducible to linear form using substitution method now coming to the problem given Differential equation sin y into dy by dx equals to cos y into 1 minus x cos y. Right? Then sin y into dy by dx equals to cos y into 1 cos y minus x and cos y into cos y is cos square y. Okay. Now, let's take this term to LHSC. We know that the standard form of linear equation y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q where p and q are either function of x alone or constant. So, we'll have RHS part as a function of x or a constant but not in y. Okay. So, let's take this to LHS and later we'll divide the whole equation by cos square x, sorry, cos square y so that y terms in RHS part will be eliminated. Let's see. Sin y into dy by dx minus cos y equals to minus x cos square y. Now, multiply both sides of the equation with cos square y or Sorry, divide both sides of the equation with cos square y or multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by cos square y so that cos square y will be eliminated from the RHS part. So, what happens if you multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by cos square y? Also, you can take directly, you can bring directly cos square y to LHS part. Then you will get sin y by cos square y into dy by dx minus cos y by cos square y equals to minus x. So, let's see in detail. If we bring cos square y to LHS, we'll get 1 by cos square y into the LHS part sin y into dy by dx minus cos y equals to minus x, right? Then multiply these two terms with 1 by cos square y, you'll get sin y by cos square y into dy by dx minus cos y by cos square y equals to minus x. You'll get the same thing, right? Now, here you are having in the second term or the, in the denominator of the second term you are having two cos y's. So, we can cancel one cos y from the second term cos y by cos square y can be written as cos y by cos y into cos y and delete Sorry, and cancel 1 cos y, you'll get 1 by cos y. Okay? So, this equation becomes sin y by cos square y. Again, split this cos y as cos square y as cos y into cos y. Into dy by dx minus, you can write cos y by cos square y as 1 by cos y equals to 
minus x. We know that from trigonometric identities, sin theta by cos theta equals to tan theta and reciprocal of cos theta equals to secant theta. Then we can split sin y by cos y into cos y as sin y by cos y into 1 by cos y for our convenience into dy by dx minus 1 by cos y equals to minus x. Now using trigonometric identities, we'll write sin y by cos y as tan y into reciprocal of cos y secant y into dy by dx minus reciprocal of cos y is secant y equals to minus x. Now let secant y equals to some u. Let secant y equals to u. Differentiate with respect to x. So here we are going to use chain rule du by dx equals to that is derivative of u with respect to x equals to du by here you are having a function of y right so it involves a differential dy in between now let's find derivative of u with respect to y since u equals to secant y differentiate on both sides with respect to u sorry with respect to y then du by dx equals to derivative of secant y with respect to y is secant y tan y. Then derivative of u with respect to x will be equals to du by dy that is secant y tan y into dy by dx. So when secant y equals to u, secant y tan y into dy by dx equals to dy by dx or you can write this as tan y into secant y into dy by dx equals to dy by dx. Now we can write the above equation in terms of u and x. Okay. So now let's replace the first term by u du by dx and second term by u. You'll get du by dx minus u equals to minus x. We know that the standard form of linear equation in u is du by dx plus p into u equals to q where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants and integrating factor of this equation is given by u power integral p dx and general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor into dx plus c right so we can say that by comparing the reduced equation with linear equation in u that we have reduced the given equation to linear in u and x form, right? Again, by comparing this equation with the standard form, we'll get p and q where p equals to minus 1 and q equals to minus x. If you notice, you're having p equals to minus 1, which is a constant, and q equals to minus x, which is a function of x because it does not involve any other variable other than x. We are already given that p and q are either functions of x alone or constants. Okay, so p may be a function of x or constant. Okay, we may get p as a function of x or constant. But here we got a constant and q is a function of x alone. So now... We'll find the general solution of the given equation using the general solution of the reduced equation. So 
So before going for general solution, we need to find the integrating factor. equals to e power integral p minus 1 into dx since minus 1 is constant so you can write it outside the integral you will get minus integral dx which is equal to e power minus x so here e power minus x is our integrating factor now we can find the general solution to the given equation The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factors secant y equals integral q minus x into c. Here integrating factor is e power minus x and secant y is your u. Okay u into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor into dx plus c you can write this as since just write the minus outside the integral you will get minus integral x e power minus x into dx plus c now we'll evaluate integral x e power minus x dx using integration by parts formula We are having u into e power minus x equals to minus integral x e power minus x dx plus c, right? We know that integration by parts formula integral u dv equals to uv minus integral v du so here our integrand is of the form product of polynomial function into exponential function so we'll choose the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv okay u equals to x and dv equals to the remaining part e for minus x into dx differentiate on both sides with respect to x We'll get du by dx equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. From this, we'll get du equals to dx. And here, we'll integrate to get v. v equals to e power minus x by minus 1, which is equals to minus e power minus x. Now, we can apply the formula. Integral u for u equals to x into dv e power minus x dx equals to u x into v for v equals to minus e power minus x minus integral v for v equals to minus e power minus x into du for du equals to dx equals to minus x e power minus x minus into minus plus integral e power minus x into dx is equals to minus x e power minus x plus integral e power minus x is e power minus x by minus 1 this is equals to minus x e power minus x you can write this as minus e power minus x is equals to minus x e power minus x plus into minus minus e power minus x now you can take minus e power minus x common from these two terms you'll get minus e power minus x times x plus 1. So integral x e power minus x into dx equals to minus e power minus x into x plus 1. Right? Since integral e power x into e power minus x dx equals to minus e power minus x into x plus 1. Our equation becomes 
u into e power x equals to minus of minus e power minus x into x plus 1 plus integral constant c. This equals to minus into minus plus e power minus x into x plus 1 plus c. So we don't need to write constant in every integral. Okay. It's enough to write one integral finally at the general solution. Now we can replace u. This is e power minus x or simply take this e power minus x to RHS. You will get u into u equals to 1 by e power minus x times e power minus x into x plus 1 plus c which is equals to e power minus x into x plus 1 by e power minus x plus c by e power minus x. Here e power minus x gets cancelled and you will get u equals to x plus 1 plus c into 1 by e power minus x. Reciprocal of 1 by e power minus x is e power x. Right? Now you are free to replace u. Since u equals to secant y, then the above equation becomes secant y equals to x plus 1 plus c into e power x. This is a required solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand this in the next video. Bye bye.